In this video, I will show you the differences between a major in pure math and applied math, and help you to decide which would be the better major for you. According to Payscale, the average pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in mathematics is $77,200. And also according to Payscale, the average pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in applied math is $76,600. As you might expect, the average pay for both majors is very similar. The typical jobs people get with both majors are also very similar. According to Payscale, common jobs for people with both degrees include data analyst, data scientist, software engineer, math teacher, actuarial analyst and a financial analyst. In a pure math degree, you can expect to take the following classes. Differential calculus, integral calculus, multivariable calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, discrete math, abstract algebra, real analysis, and number theory. In addition, you can expect to have the option to take other advanced math classes, such as partial differential equations, graph theory, a second course in real analysis or abstract algebra, topology, and complex analysis. You can also expect to have the option to take other mathematical courses from other disciplines, including probability and statistics, mathematical statistics, classes from computer science, and classes from physics. The classes you can expect to take in an applied math degree will be similar to the classes you can expect to take in a pure math degree. The main difference is that you will be required to take fewer theoretical classes in applied math and more courses from related disciplines, such as from statistics, computer science and physics, as well as more applied math classes, such as differential equations or partial differential equations. Finding a job with a degree in pure math can be difficult because the theoretical math classes are not directly useful for many job roles, and the job roles where they are directly useful often require a master's degree. If you do not supplement the required classes with more applied elective classes, such as algorithms and data structures from computer science, you will likely have a hard time finding a job. An applied math degree should give you a slightly easier time in getting a job because the required classes should be more useful for job roles. However, that will largely depend on the classes you choose and what is required by your particular program. Often, you will find that the applied math classes in an applied math degree will be things such as a second course in differential equations, which is not very employable despite being more applied than something such as abstract algebra. The nice thing about an applied math degree is that you will usually have the option to take classes from related disciplines. In order for the degree to be more employable, it will be necessary for you to take more employable classes, such as from computer science or statistics. In both cases, it would help to consider the type of job that you would like to get and to take classes related to that job. Right now, software engineering roles are very popular among math majors, so it would help to make sure to at least take a class in data structures and algorithms, since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. Also, data science is becoming more popular each year and more roles are opening up to people with just a bachelor's degree. So it would also help to take classes related to data analysis, statistics and machine learning and to complete data science projects. If your university does not offer classes related to data science or machine learning, it would help to self-study them using websites such as edX, Coursera, Udemy, Kaggle, DataCamp, DataQuest and FreeCodeCamp, which now has a data science section. Since data science and machine learning are rapidly evolving, it is likely that you will have to do a lot of self-studying for them regardless. 
In addition, it would help a lot to try to get summer internships. Since math majors often find themselves in programming roles, it would help to make sure to learn to program. Typically, Python is best suited for math majors, since it is used heavily in machine learning and data science. Both majors are difficult majors, however most people would likely agree that a pure math major will be slightly harder than an applied math major. The reason for this is that there will be more theoretical math classes that are very proof heavy. The proofs in theoretical math classes are also often hard proofs, whereas an applied math major will have more computational classes related to other disciplines that are not as proof heavy. With that being said, most applied math majors will still have multiple proof heavy math classes that are required, such as real analysis. So an applied math degree will still not be easy. If you are considering getting a degree in mathematics, there are some alternative degrees that you might also want to consider. Some of the alternative degrees have a distinct advantage over mathematics because they are more related to certain job roles. For example, computer science is better suited to software engineering and arguably machine learning as well. Another major you might want to consider is statistics. As companies are acquiring more and more data, they need more and more people to be able to make sense of the data, and statistics can be a suitable degree for that. If your goal is to get into data science, you might find that a degree in statistics would be more appropriate. Another option would be to major in one of the different engineering degrees, which also tend to include a lot of math and physics, but are also very employable. Something to consider is that an applied math degree can feature many different types of classes. It would help to look at the required classes of the applied math program that you are interested in and to see if those classes are useful for the job or graduate program you would be interested in after graduating. At some universities a pure math major can be very applied and at others an applied math major can be very theoretical. Regardless of the title of the major you choose, it would help a lot to make sure to look at what classes are required for the major. In addition, it would also help to strongly consider alternative degrees such as computer science or statistics, and to make sure to take classes related to the job that you are interested in. Also, because both applied and pure math majors typically find themselves in programming type roles, I would strongly recommend that you try to get a minor in computer science and to complete programming projects in software engineering, data science or machine learning during your time as an undergrad.